Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Mind Magic 6. Today we are starting the second campaign, playing as Anastasia, the Necropolis campaign. Scenario is called In the Wake of Adversity. Nobody foresaw the assassination of Slava Griffin by his youngest daughter Anastasia. In spite of the intervention of her mentor, the Archangel Uriel, Pledging the crime was not of her own willing. She was summarily executed by her elder brother Anton, but brought back as one of the unliving by her great aunt, the necromancer Sveltana. Looking for answers, Anastasia sneaks in the very heart of the Holy Inquisition, which is said to have captured the faceless responsible for manipulating her. Alright, let's go. Let's take some resources. When justice takes a day of rest, death is twice as busy. Wake up, Anastasia! This must be a dream. I'm drifting into darkness. I must wake up. Bluebeak? Is that you? Ansveltana? Are you there? Wake me! Anastasia, I'm here. I'm so cold. Where am I? My child. You were dead, and now you are no longer. I brought you back. Dead? But how? That's impossible. Where's Uriel? Uriel is fine. He thinks you're dead. He's now venting his anguish on those he accuses of murder. The Faceless. The Faceless? They've returned! Why would they kill me? Not you, Slava. Uriel blames the Faceless of taking possession of your mind in order to make you commit a horrible crime. You killed your father. Me? Father? Father is dead? No! Anton just went and stabbed me in the heart. How could my own brother kill me? He knows how hard I've studied to become a priestess of Elrath. I, I am Uriel's favorite pupil. Don't play the innocent with me, Anastasia. You and Uriel were more than just a zealous student and her dedicated professor. He defended you during the trial with a passion that was more than holy. Are you saying that being damned to the realm of the unliving is the price I must pay for loving an angel? That is unjust. Justice has nothing to do with it. You have a choice. You can bury yourself in my castle, hoping that whoever controlled your mind will never find you, or you can learn the necromantic art that will help you strengthen your mind against intrusion. When do I start? We start right now. New quest available, Inquisitive Girl. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, we have actually several quests available. Anastasia has been brought back from the dead to discover that the world has been turned upside down. Her father Slava has been killed, apparently by none other than herself. The Inquisition has a prisoner who may know what is going on. Hmm, we get a lot of experience for that. The Dragon Gods favor those who choose their path. Will you follow the path of the Dragon Blood or the path of the Dragon Tears? So somebody told me she she makes a good magic tears hero, so we'll be following that. And another quest called Arachne. Defeat the guardians of Arachne to obtain this dynasty weapon. Oh yeah, and also somebody told me I should try to uh, get a dynasty weapon. And I don't know where that is done. But this might be it, right? Dynasty pets. This is... Something else. Edge of Chaos, Sword of the Griffin. Doesn't have any. What's this? Ah, maybe we can use these. 
Staff of Arsha. Plus three magic power. Not bad. Cleansing. Soul Reaver stuff. <laughs> cool. Level one. Reduces the mana cost of dark spells. Staff of Sar Agreth. Dragon Bone stuff. Might def magic defense. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a staff, whatever it is. And we also have ability points. So on level one, I would like to try the reinforcements. Many people have recommended that. So let's take reinforcements. And we have some ghouls in our army. Let's have a look. Dead flesh reduces might damage by 20%. Undead. Vulnerable to light. Emotionless. Okay. And they have a background story. Oh, you look ugly. <laughs> Ghouls are tormented spirits of the dead, bound by magic in lifeless corpses and filled with hatred for the living. Powerful necromancers can control them, but otherwise they are wild and destructive. Transformation into a ghoul is used as the ultimate punishment in Haresh and is a means of permanently removing a soul from the cycle of death and transformation. Ghouls feed on corpses and often carry diseases in their blood and saliva. It's a core creature. Okay, fine with me. Let's go and pick up some junk. Friendly. Anastasia, these are ghouls. They are the spirits of murderers that we have trapped in undead bodies as a form of punishment. How appropriate. We have so much in common. Nonsense. These spirits have lost their free will. They will follow your orders to the letter. <laughs> yeah, she's also a murderer trapped in a undead body. And there's more. Excellent, Anastasia. Do not think of skeletons as soldiers taking orders. They are extensions of yourself. Have got it! It's like flying a kite. You keep hold of the string, you also control the wind. When did you ever find time to fly a kite? You were always buried in your books. Anton made two for Kirill and me. We were little, before Mother left, and it was such a beautiful day. Until Kirill's kite crashed through the chapel window. I thought Lady Valeska was going to kill us. I remember. Slava talked her out of it. Griffins will be griffins. I miss father. I miss days like those. Yeah, it will only get worse, don't worry. Okay, so let's go for the Sentinels, get some experience. Next turn, of course. Cool. So how do we do it? Uh, we will try our reinforcements, right? On these guys. And we will make them wait. And now attack. Not bad. Not bad. We get another level. On level 2, I will uh, take a spell or something. Uh, people recommended Life Drain and Regeneration. I think that's under Earth Magic, right? Regeneration. Yes. Take it. Okay. And uh, here we go. Army. Yeah. Attack. And what do we do? They go before us. So I don't know which one they will attack, though. So let me do reinforcements on them and wait. And they shoot the other ones, of course. Okay. Nice. 
and we lose one. So now we would like to... What is this? Necromancy. Raises friendly undead creatures based on the size of your army. Can raise core creatures. Huh. Cool down one turn. Friendly undead creatures. Oh, that's uh that's resurrection. That sounds nice. Okay, pretty cool. Plus one health to friendly creatures. Amulet of health. Sounds useful. I want to have a look at it. So we have a pretty cum. Com. <laughs> Quest item. Background information. We haven't read about her too much, but I think we know all this. It has been told to us right now, right? Youngest daughter of Duke Slava. Twin sister of Kirill. Charming, happy and trusting. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, okay, fine. Next turn. Get even more experience. Look at this, level 3. On level 3, people told me to take tactics. I think that's this one. So that I can um, not only position units on the battlefield, but also I can say I do not want to use some units. So, for example, if I said uh, I don't want to use skeletons because there's a lot of shooters on the battlefield, I could do that. Which is uh, pretty cool. Too bad I didn't know that before. Okay, we have a blood crystal. And some more stuff and friendly skeletons. Yay! If I go out from these tunnels, I'll find myself in the heart of the Holy Falcon Empire, where I was executed for killing the Duke of Griffin. Interesting. Would you have rather I buried you in a grave? <sighs> no. Why don't you just tell me why we're here? Ah! The Holy Inquisition is keeping the prisoner they're accusing of controlling you somewhere above us. I want to ask him a few questions myself. We're going to liberate the prisoner who killed father. No, I am. Something tells me that he's no more guilty than you are. While I do that, you need to grow stronger to protect your mind. Okay, understood. Dragon Vein fully replenishes mana. I think our mana is fine. Trivial. So, if I leave them, it will uh, strengthen my tears reputation or something like that. So, let's leave them, right? See, I get 10 tears points. Okay, let's also save the game somewhere. And um, there is nothing else to do than to go up, right? Yeah. Hey, we don't burn in the sun. <laughs> That's good. There was a new thing here. Finished objective, reach the surface. Active objective, find clues about the Inquisition activities. Okay, okay, we can do that. So, do you hear the Heroes 2 music in the background? I do. Okay, Sentinel creatures, hostile lots, trivial. Let's do it. Attack. Place your creatures. And fight. So... 
This basically doesn't cost mana, so I can do that for as long as I want. And I think there were three extra. And it doesn't even matter how many extra we get. Alright. Maybe more. Yay, level 4, look at us. All the heroes damaging, healing, summoning and absorption spells have become more powerful. Okay, on number 4 I have Storm Arrows, which are under Wind Magic, Air Magic. Regeneration and... Where are the Storm Arrows? Oh, I had a I had a wrong thing. Storm winds, air magic, grounded, storm arrows here. Target stacks ranged attacks suffer no range penalty and deal extra twenty eight percent air damage for two turns. Yes, I think so. Let me just double check. Storm arrows take it. Cool. It's a passive ability, I believe. No, active combat ability. That's okay. That's okay. Good. Then um, Army Trivial for Sandals of the Swift Journey and Orpit. Not bad. Let's go and fight. I don't remember if these guys shoot or not. <laughs> I guess we'll find out soon enough. Attack. Tactics looks fine. Okay. So... Storm Arrows, 15 mana. Sounds good. 25 mana for regeneration. Heals 60 per turn. Let's do just reinforcements for now. Excellent. One died, which is fine, because uh, they were reinforcements. Yes. Excellent. Land movement plus two. Are they equipped? Yes, they are. Okay. Hatred, trivial. Attack. Wait for it. Kills 8 to 9, yes. Yeah. So I think we can just uh, easily kill them without even having to cast any spells. Perfect. Come on. Your heroes have movement points left. Fine. Orpid captured. That is something I don't want to return for. So I guess we explore. This way. Can't get up here. Can't go there. Oh, maybe I need to return over there. Yes, we are on the left side. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we are going for this anyway. Cool. I will never let someone control my mind again. Not a faceless, not even a dragon. That's a good decision. Inquisitor, threat low. Well, even if it's a low threat. I will try to save anyway. And uh, look at that blindness scroll. 
Are we going after them first? Pack, pack, pack. Let's go. So I probably want to do reinforcements on them. Yeah, they will go first. So let's wait. Two. Okay, a lot of them died. Which means I can try regeneration on them. Uh, I don't know if that helped or not. Then... Four, not bad. I don't know what they did exactly. Oh, I know. They did Guardian Angel. Well, that sucks. So, you have the... Mark of Heretic Regeneration. Yes, you have Regeneration. So, we cannot attack them, right? Yes, we cannot attack them. So, attack these guys. And this still is active, unfortunately. 45 is still the full amount, isn't it? So let's wait. Ouch. And ouch. And what? Now I can't shoot anybody. Okay. Then I think I can them and probably resurrect how does that work plus two three of seven did we really lose that much I guess we did so maybe if I do the reinforcements. I don't know if that helped, but uh, I'd like to believe that it did. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Defend then. Ouch. But plus two again. And I can... I can resurrect again. Nice! So we lost one. Which is fine. Minor mana potion. Instantly restores 20 mana. And purse of endless gold. Cool. So this one must be... A lot less dangerous than attack. Start. And we'll uh, start with reinforcements. Very cool. them and not even one died excellent target enemy creature cannot move attack or use abilities for two turns blindness is dispelled when the creature is attacked nice sawmill captured sure Stables. Later. Okay. Saw me lost. Doesn't matter. Okay. Trivial. Earth elementals. Last time I met them, they were not so trivial. Mass weakness scroll. Plus 10 for the next battle. So, I do want to fight them, 
but uh, we have no idea how difficult they are, right? <laughs> so let's do it very carefully. Eight. Okay, so first reinforcements plus three, then wait and do some damage and now try to kill them. Two died, not bad. Only one died there, so I think we are fine. I think we are fine and this, uh, this practically can be used whenever, right? Oh, can't even do that, okay. One died. I think we should be able to resurrect now, right? Kinda. Heal 16, what? Do we have still over the maximum? We may still have over the maximum. How would I find out? Hmm. Well, we can replay the battle if we lost too much. Yeah, we lost one. Not something we want to do, right? So let's try again. First, 53, that's how many we had. I need to remember that. Reinforcements. We can lose three. Wait for it. Shoot them a little bit. And attack. Nice. Okay, 55, 54. Now we... Attack the big stack still, 54 still, one will die, 53 now, and 52, okay, now we can definitely resurrect, okay, and uh, kill this guy, and kill this guy, excellent. Hey, we are uh, learning. Reduces damage of all enemy creatures by 14%. Sure. Okay, then air elementals. Those are the guys that shoot uh, lightning bolts out of thin air, aren't they? I think so. Trivial, though. Hmm. I don't think it will be so trivial, <laughs> but we can try. We can also try tactics, maybe we don't need uh, the shooters in that fight. There's four of them. So let's like bring them here, this means they are not in the fight. Do you want to start a battle without placing all of your creatures? Yes. C1-1. Okay, and then we do like reinforcements, and then we go forward. And then we kill one, and then we resurrect the rest. Only two out of four, dang it, that's not cool, maybe I should have done it sooner. Oh well, I guess it's fine. Lost two, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Okay, more stuff here. And a rally flag. I don't think I need a rally flag. I do need the armor smith. Sure. So 51 is our uh, starting 
number. Let's remember that. And them. Okay, maybe you can kill them. Yes, let's try. Nobody dies. And 51 was the maximum, so we are just fine. Almost level 5. Plus 1, who's that? Army Trivial. Dwarven Shield. And this is... not sure what. Let's first go after the army. Seems doable. Okay, and again, reinforcements first, because they don't seem to be shooting at the shooters. You can wait, so that the others come forward. You can shoot at the shooter. Kill the maulers first. One died, no problem. Another died, also no problem. Go here. We can go all the way to 50 or 51, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so we are losing a lot less than uh, before, right? With Slava. Might affinity. Oh. So we can't use that, I guess. It's alright. I don't know what happens when I attack this. <laughs> so let's have a look. Bluebeak, is there a seamstress back in Sveltana's castle? I'm cold no matter how many layers of robes I wear. Black is not my best color. I don't care if black is beautiful to a raven. The bird I have to impress is an angel. Well, you're far away from that, girl. Okay, this should be possible. And let's start with reinforcements. 51 is the number. Very cool. Even better. Love it. Okay, so we can transform this one into our building. I don't know if that's the best thing to do. It costs 6, 6 and 3,000. Sure. Let's have a look at one. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's much nicer. Only skeletons here and we can't build anything, looks like it. That's alright. That's alright, we are still learning. So, get some resources, maybe even tell me what's uh, around here can't go this way what's this observatory yeah we definitely need that next turn hello not much going on another army there what's this mass grave all right let's have a look there
It's the great Inquisitor Salvatore himself. The Inquisition has no respect for the cycle of life and death and doesn't understand the danger of simply dumping bodies in the ground. The souls of these victims must be appeased. You think they were killed by the Inquisition? If they weren't their victims, they would bury them with ceremony. If we can't get answers from the living, we'll interrogate their bones. New quest available, mass recruitment. Okay, what do I need to do? Many vengeful spirits haunt the mass graves of the Inquisition. Anastasia could summon them all to fight in her cause. Raise the dead at the mass graves, zero or five graves found. Nice. Let's do that. I shall avenge your martyred souls. Join me now. Tomorrow we march upon those who betray Elrath's light. Cool. Something happened? Yes, we got more units. Okay. I'm beginning to like this. Whoever used me to kill father, I will bring to justice. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, so who's next? That's a bit too far. So let's just go forward, I guess. We do have more than enough army. 66 is the new number. Trivial. Oh, and we might want to start building up whatever is available. Ghouls, sure. We also should uh, hire a hero, I would say. Later. Let's go. Attack, retreat, attack. Alright, they go first. I will do the reinforcements. 66 is the number. Kill the ones closest. And will they go after me? Yes. 66. Perfect. Yeah, the reinforcements are saving tons of troops. New level. Are any of your memories returning? I know you brought me back for answers, Aunt Sveltana, but I don't remember anything about Father's death. I didn't bring you back for answers. Yeah. Anastasia, there have been times when I've regretted the path of necromancy. It's a lonely responsibility, but had I not this power, you would be lost to me. The Griffins have a tradition of dying too young. I am the unliving proof of that. I still feel so very cold. Good pun, Anastasia, the second one. I'm starting to like you. On level 5, I actually wanted to take Mentor, but I don't know if I will be able to hire too many heroes here and mentor them. <laughs> so maybe something else. What else can we do? We can do like archery, drain life, you know, things like that. But I kind of want that Mentor ability. The hero is now a mentor. When he meets another friendly hero, the latter gains experience up to 50% of the mentor's experience. The total experience of the mentored heroes cannot exceed 50% of the mentor's current experience. Passive adventure ability. Yeah. I don't know. I read somewhere on the internet that mentoring happens also automatically, but that might have been a different game or, or different version. Otherwise, I don't know why would they create such a skill. So, I'm taking mentoring because you never know when it will come in handy. Okay, so can't go this way. Let's continue. Take care of this army. Okay. 
reinforcements. Wait for it. You can shoot the other ones. Kill this one with ghouls. One is fine. And we'll block that. Easy. Magic defense. Not bad. I think I need that. Not enough movement. Let's not forget to build. Right? What can we build? Hall of Heroes. Place for trading something. Chamber of Necromancy. What's this? Town tree. Wasting grounds. Ah, okay. Cool. Advanced town portal, normal town portal, marketplace. Well, let's do the fortifications. That's alright. We will hire a hero later. For now, it looks like she can do everything alone. And that's, that's really cool. <laughs> there's more here. I don't know if I want to go through this army just yet. But there's nowhere else to go. Attack. Okay. Here we go again. Yeah, killed two. That's a lot. So maybe we'll need to do the... regeneration as well. That was good. I think I still go for them. Excellent. Even better. And we don't need to do anything. 66 was the original number. Go for more gold. Now that I'm a necromancer, shouldn't you teach me the secret handshake of the cast? Is there a password? Or do you just recognize each other through your dark and scary robes? Anastasia, I belong to a cult that reveres the Spider Queen, an aspect of the dragon goddess Asha. My order has vowed to protect the cycle of life and death, helping lost souls return to Asha so that they might be reincarnated to start new lives. I'm some sort of guide for spirits. I must renounce Elrath to follow the Spider Queen. The Dukes of Griffin have always respected two paths equally. Those who punish without question and those who protect without fail. Choose one and follow it to its end, for there is no middle ground. I just want to find the murderer of my father. Simple life, eh? Hello there, Cyclopes. He's guarding a treasure. Probably a big treasure. <laughs> Let's have a look. I want to override the save. Four of them. Might be uh, too much for us to chew on. Ouch. What the... Actual heck. Okay. Kills zero. <laughs> Let's wait. What the? Three hundred forty, okay. Well, let's uh, regenerate. No! Still 200. Ouch. So do you think we can cool down one turn? So I guess we can do this multiple times, no? I sure hope so. Good luck wouldn't be bad. Ouch. 
Ouch, minus five. What else can we do? Hmm. They have the regeneration. I can't resurrect more just yet. One will die. Hmm, interesting. Well, I hope it was worth it. Not enough movement, okay. <laughs> Treasure chest. Not really. Not really, just a normal treasure chest. Well, we have learned... Um, our necromancy is not strong enough yet, apparently. Weaponsmith. So do I want to hire more creatures now? Probably yes. Probably yes. So, build the Hall of Heroes. Hire a hero. Ooh, look at how many heroes we have available. This is Javet. Okay. Zenda. Kamar. Siham. Skaitha. Sir J. Woods. <laughs> Sahir. Luna. Hello, Luna. <laughs> You're much uh, a lot prettier for some reason. Then I remember you. Layla. And Moander. Okay, Moander. You are as ugly as you ever were. I think I'll take Luna. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. Luna was born in the forests of Ireland during a full moon, and it is said that the baby seemed to stare at the moon with her eyes wide open, prompting her parents to name her in honor of the celestial body. Some say her unusual destiny was written that night because of her very name. Naturally attuned to the mystical forces inhabiting the world, Luna was trained to become a druid, but the young elf could not find harmony. To the other druids, she seemed restless, unpredictable, unreliable. She finally found peace in the most unexpected way, by drinking the venom of the mother Namtaru and embracing undeath, reborn as a vampire. Luna is definitely a defender of harmony, though her understanding of the term is very different from what she was taught as a druid. For Luna, harmony comes from the silence of death. <laughs> I like it. Um... How do I hire her? Like this, right? Okay. Very good. Whoops. Then hire all creatures as well, please. And come to me. Right? Yes. Do you have the creatures? You do. So take that. Why can't I move? What? The scrolling doesn't work anymore. Oh, game is broken. Let's save before it crashes or something. At least you can move like this. Okay. Cool. Good. Then uh, take this, take that. What's this? Marksman Trivial. Yeah, we'll do it later, next turn. And you can take a level. And on her, we shall take the realm thingies, right? People told me I should be taking uh, things like that. Um, 
the architect, creature dwelling production is increased, the economist. I don't remember exactly. Passive, passive. Golden resources. Yeah, you will be picking up resources, right? So you get the economist one. Okay, go this way. Uh, she will be your mentor in just a moment. Attack. I wonder who will they attack now. Two, two, and two. Not great. Reinforcements. So we had... Uh, how many did we had? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, go. And... Shoot them. Nice. And now we lose a lot more again. Okay. Do regeneration. Start here. And there. And maybe resurrect the free, yes. Almost a disaster. But we made it. You know, having those skills on level 1, 2, 3, the reinforcements, regeneration and tactics helped a lot. I mean, if we didn't have that, we would have lost at least half the army by now, if not more, probably more. So it's totally super useful. Almost a must, I would say. I can't move there. Okay, next. Ah! Yes, Bluebeak. My mind is growing stronger. Is it? We'll see about that. Okay, so can you get level 6 anytime soon? No, you cannot. Three, three, 37... Yeah, you need a lot more. So level 5 mentor maybe can teach her a couple new tricks. We need to save. I have no idea how it works. So we don't want to mess it up. Yes, I want to override my save and I want to go here. Okay, did you teach me anything? I don't think so. We don't need the ghosts per se right now. Let's keep them in this army. What's this? Switch army, switch artifacts. There are no artifacts, right? And uh, ghost. Ah, yes. Reach level four. See? That's cool. So on a level four hero, we can go architect. And then we can also go logistics and snatch, right? No, we cannot go snatch, unfortunately. But we can go at least logistics. Snatch will do a little bit later. And I don't know what else to do here. Scouting? What else does such a hero need? Hmm. I mean, maybe. These are all level 5 as well. Diplomat? No. Enlightenment? No. Pathfinding? Maybe pathfinding. I'll... Um, you can let me know in the comments below, okay? So, so far I took Architect 1 and Economist 1. I'm thinking about taking Scouting. 
and I've taken also logistics and I'm planning to take snatch. If there is anything more that a secondary hero needs, please do let me know. Okay, and I think uh, we are... I don't know how long we are recording already. Let's let's give it like 10 more minutes. Or maybe let's call it a day here. Okay, and you can let me know on Anastasia if I have taken good skills and if you would improve uh, something or which ones should I take as the next five skills, for example. Do let me know. And also on her, on Luna. What should I do? I uh, will wait with the recording of the next episode uh, so you have a chance to actually influence my decision for the next one. Okay? So let's save it here. This is end of... Uh... Can I change the name? This. Whoever made this saving dialogue should be executed. Okay, let's save there. And uh, this is it. Thank you very much for watching, people. See you next time. Bye-bye.